Hello everyone, I am super excited because I have a great project for you guys today. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Please subscribe to this channel because I will be bringing great projects, creativity and inspiration. Here is a sneak peek of upcoming projects. Please subscribe to this channel so you can get notifications of the new releases. Today I am part of the uh, What Will You Make collaboration. Our hosts are Zena from OK at Home DIY and Connie from Connie's Woodshop and DIY. As co-hosts we have JC from Crafting with JC. The links to their channels will be listed in the description below, along with the playlist of all the creations. For our chest we will need two hinges, a door knocker like this, I ordered this one from Timo. Also, two wooden plaques from Dollar Tree. Someone gave me those paint sticks, so I will be incorporating them as well. I will have to cut a little bit on both sides to take advantage of the length of the sticks, and I will show you how I am going to do that. Before we start the chest, I would like to show you some of the tools I use for my projects, as some of you have asked me. I always wanted a small miter saw. I found some, but they were expensive and low quality. Also, I didn't want to buy a big one because of the space. After a year, I came across this brand called Proxon. I bought this miter saw, I used it, and I was so impressed with the quality and all the things I can do with it. Also, I recently got this saw, uh, and I will be using it for this project. I tried it already, as you can see, it makes precise and super clean cuts. You can tilt the blade to make miter cuts as well, and it includes many safety features and accessories, so I highly recommend this brand. Let's get started with this project. What we want to do first is cut these paint sticks to make them nice and straight. As I mentioned earlier, I am cutting just a little bit both sides. And here are all the paint sticks nice and smooth and the best part is that I don't have to sand them at all. Now this blocks will be used for the sides of the chest so I will go ahead and remove those hanging pieces. With my compass I will identify the thickness of the paint stick. Then I will draw a line all around each plaque. This line will help me to place inner wooden pieces for support. This will make more sense in a little bit. Now I will draw a line at the 5.5 inch mark and I will cut it with my saw, so I will be right back. I will be cutting several wooden pieces to place them right on the line I just drew. These pieces don't have to be perfectly cut. I just need to make sure they are glued right on the line. I will do this all around for both plaques.
Now that the support pieces are dried, I will start gluing all the paint sticks that will form the walls of the chest as you can see here. The paint sticks will be flush and will create a flat surface. I will be using clamps as needed for any uneven paint sticks. I would like to take the time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you for your kind words and your support. If you are new to this channel, welcome and consider subscribing as it will help me continue bringing you more cool projects like this one. I don't know if you noticed, but these paint sticks were cut in an angle, that is why you don't see a gap between them. Here's what we have so far. This chest has taken shape. All the pieces are nice and dry, take a look. Using this Proxen sander, I will sand the entire chest to remove any glue residue. I am using a burgundy color from Folk Art to paint the entire chest. I will be doing two coats and let it dry. After this, I will apply a coat of Mod Podge and matte finish. I won't paint the inside as it is nice and bright, and if I place small items in it, I should be able to see them a little better. Next, I will apply the hardware and assemble the chest. For the strap in the center, I used 2 inch white gold synthetic leather and some white leather ribbon to embellish it.
I spray painted the hinges in gold to match the rest of the hardware. Also, I glue wooden blocks inside the chest so the hinges have more wood to hold on to. This lion door knocker will be a great addition along with the metal tags. Are you ready for the final reveal? Let me know in the comments section your thoughts of this piece. What will you use it for? This chest measures 11 inches tall by 11 inches deep, while the length is approximately 15 inches. Thank you for watching, please like this video, consider subscribing to this channel and share with others.